But uh, Charlie Prim uh, is seen sitting on the same bed he sleeps on every night in the same room, uh, looking out the same window. That dichotomy between how one person is affected and how so many are affected um, is drawn, I think, beautifully. A, it, those two pictures say so much. There's Charlie Prim in what, what you could almost say is, a, is an Andrew Wyeth of a painting of a photograph done by John Partipillo, sitting at the, on the side of his bed looking out the same window he's looked out for all of his years. And across the road from his house, the half of his farm has been sold for McMansions. And they will rise there, assuming he lives a while longer, right there in front of him. Uh, what he'll see is not a pasture, but uh, uh, more houses. He has lifetime estate uh, on the land that, that he lives on, but the rest of his family uh, has chosen to sell the rest of the place. And uh, so Charlie Prim becomes a, a symbol, if, if you will, of... Uh, of loss and the rush hour traffic on Interstate uh, 40 that you see there with the, with the uh, uh, skyline in the background has become a symbol of our, our constriction as a city. We, we are, we're still caught in this web and we're still trying to figure how we can make it livable. <clears throat> and some people would make the case that Charlie found himself and is still found um, and that those who think we found ourselves by creating uh, a booming city uh, don't really understand that we're losing yeah. a great deal. Yeah. John